Hi everyone, thanks for joining. In this video, we're going to review the hotkey configuration for the Zero Pro trading platform. So we have the hotkey configuration window on the screen right now. We're gonna review some of the settings. Before we get started, I want you to make sure that you understand that the most important aspect of configuring your hotkeys is mapping out the assignments. So make sure that before you get started, that you know exactly what you wanna do because there's several variations for example, if you create a limit order, you can create a limit order to go out on the bid. You can have it set up to go 10 cents below the bid. So there's different variations and you can also adjust the quantity and the shares. So make sure that you understand exactly what kind of configuration that you want. And then start with a basic foundation. Once you have that basic foundation set up, then you can add additional hotkeys. But this is gonna give you a good start Make sure you practice on the simulator, and that's gonna give you an opportunity to kind of fine tune and make sure you eliminate your mistakes. So let's review here some of the settings. We have uh, several options here on the actions list. Take a look here, we have toggle market depths, and then we have toggle charts. Okay, so toggle market depths and toggle charts, virtually the same. You create a hotkey assignment, give it a description, and now that's, this is going to allow you to toggle between the market depth windows or the chart windows. So if you have, let's say, three market depth windows, you press your hotkey, it's just gonna cycle through the first, the second, to the third, and then come back to the first. It's pretty straightforward. And then the next, the next function we have here on the actions list is we have a all orders action and this gives the trader the ability to cancel the first order last order or all orders so to make it real simple start with canceling the last order that's how we have this example set up so when you cancel the last order let's see here I have to, I'm just gonna go ahead and assign this to F1 and give it a description all right, cancel last order is all you have to select. And then we save that. So now we can see we have this set up here. All right, we have, the so next one is going to be liquidate all. And again, this is just one hockey. So if you wanna create two of these, you can create one for 100% and then another one for 25%. So if you have a portfolio of 10 positions, it's going to, and then you have your, you can either close out 100% of your positions, it's going to liquidate and close out all the positions, or you can scale out and use 25%. It's going to slow, it's going to do a quarter of, uh, so if you have 100 shares, it's going to sell 25 shares. If you have 1,000, it's going to sell uh, 250 shares. Okay. So I would recommend creating two hotkeys for this one for 100% and one for 25%. All right, so that's um, that's liquidate all. So the next one is going to be set up or send order. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. However, there are some concepts to understand, and the first concept is that traders have the, the opportunity to load an order or to auto send. So in this demonstration, I have it set to auto send. However, if you have the box here, the auto, uh, the auto send order box, if you leave this unchecked, what it's gonna do, it's going to, whatever you have set here in this window, it's going to, it corresponds to the order preference screen right here in your market depth window. So however you define your, your uh, orders, it's going, it's going to load. So if you have this unchecked, it's just going to load everything here on the order preference screen. So this is an important concept because traders, uh, once you once you have a strategy, you might want to have the opportunity to change the quantity or change the limit price, etc. So that's the important concept to understand the difference between loading an order and auto send. So if you have this unchecked, you're Theoretically, you're loading the order. You have the opportunity to change, make changes, okay? 
So let's review here. We have several hotkeys already assigned. And let's take a look here at the uh, market buy. Okay, so this is our first order. We have it set up for market buy. Okay, you can see that you have the opportunity to have the quantity type for shares or no change or position. So if you do no change, and let's say for example, you have this unchecked, it's just gonna load it as a market. You press enter, it goes out as a market order. Uh, so pretty straightforward. Let's cancel that. Take a look how we have it really set up. We have it set up to send auto send 1000 shares Okay, at market. All right, let's take a look at this second order. This one's a limit order, and we have it with a five cent offset. So this is basically the same thing as the market order, except it's going to send out a thousand shares, and we have price protection. So let's say you're in a volatile stock. We can take a look here at the best the best offer, six thirty one. So we're telling the system to to send out an order and uh, plus five cents so it's a limit five cents plus the uh, plus the it's the best offer plus five cents so 631 plus five cents 636 so we're going to get an execution at 636 or better all right so in fast moving market you have slippage sometimes and that so you might want to create a limit order and set the offset for five cents or ten cents etc now remember when you create this I already have this set up these are all, all the orders set up on the buy side when you do the sell side you got to make sure that you change the offset to negative all right so it's got to be negative five cents all right you see that how that's negative right the offset's going to be negative that's when you when you have when you're when we're doing a sell sell limit and you might want to change the price source to the bid. So let's not get too confusing. Let's cancel this and take a look at this order again. All right, this is how we have this set up. So again, limit buy, five cent limit. Okay, it's the price is the, the price source is the ask. So five cents from the ask, that's where you're going to receive an execution. Somewhere in that range. Nor normally it's going to be whatever the best, whatever the quote that you see on the best uh, the best offer. Uh, however, in a fast moving market, if you have your limit order set up, you have the you have some price protection so that you don't get filled way out of the money. Okay, so on our next one here, this is a limit bid. So we're still kind of following the same direction, right? These are all long orders. Okay, so these are all buy side orders. Uh, we're trying to get long the stock, and in this one. What we're trying to do, our, our objective is, is that we want to place a bid below the market. So you can see that this we have a 10 cent offset, it's negative 10, and our price source is the bid. So we're trying to put a limit order for 500 shares on the bid. So we'll do a quick example of that. You can see how that looks on the system. So let's take a quick look here at our next one. This one is a profit order above the ask. So again, we're using a limit order. Uh, the difference here is that we have it's a sell. The assignment is a sell. We're selling 100% of our position, the 10% uh, 10 cent offset. So once we press this hotkey, wherever the price is, the current price, the best offer, it's going to send out an order 10 cent above the ask. You can see that how we have this set up. Okay. The next one we want to look at is uh, sell stop, and this is once we're long a position. If we're long a position. Okay, we're going to use this to protect uh, our profits or protect the position, the initial position. So normally if a trader has an uh, open position, they set a stop. This is going to be 10, with a 10 cent offset, so meaning that we're, um, once, you, once you enter your order, your position, you press your stop, and then this is going to protect, your, uh, protect you from uh, losing uh, in the market. So. Uh, also, if your position is going your way, for example, and then you can cancel the stop order and resend out another one so you can protect profits. Okay, so now that we have our assignments set up, let's uh, go ahead and check them out on the software here. So, we'll click OK, we'll go to our market depth window. And so now, if I hit uh, 
if I hit our hotkey, we're going to execute a thousand shares of Siri. So it's automatically going to send it. You can see now that we have 4,500 shares. If I hit it again, you see now that we have 5,500 shares. If I hit our second hotkey, it's going to send out uh, a limit order. And again, you can see that this is the same thing almost exactly as a market buy. So it executes immediately. It's just that in this example, it has some price protection. So we're not going to get filled above uh, 636 in this example. Okay, and in our next one here, we're going to we're going to send out a limit bid. So hit a hockey automatically. You can see that we have the limit price at 620. The stock is right now showing the best ask is 630. So we have a limit order, and that this one stays here in the open order section of the portfolio manager until it's executed. So we can go ahead and send out another one if we want. So now we have two limit orders out there at the same price. That's why I was trying to show you that if you have one order set for auto send and then another one you have the box unchecked, the second order we would have had the opportunity to change the limit price. Okay, so now let's cancel these orders. Okay, and then let's try a sell stop. So if we set up our uh, sell stop here, I'm sorry, our next one actually is going to be a limit. Uh, this is our profit, tor uh, profit order. So um, you can see that the orders do show up here on the screen. So we'll go back and revisit this order here. If I send out that limit order again, you can see that it shows here on the screen. And here's your order with the limit uh, price and shares. Okay, and if we set a stop order, okay, this is gonna be a stop, uh, stop market and it's gonna be 10 cents uh, below the best bid. So again, you can see that the, the order right here, you see it, uh, indicator for the order. The limit order was green. Now that we have an orange line, it uh, indicates the stop order, and we have a stop order with a 10, uh, 10 cent offset. So our stop price is 620, and that's that's it. So uh, if we want to liquidate, we can close out of all the positions that we use the hotkey to liquidate. So uh, we only have one position, so we can either. Again, if we had multiple positions, it would close out of each position. So this is, a, again, concludes the um, hotkey configuration for the Zero Pro trading platform. If you have any questions, please contact support, and someone will get back with you, a representative will get back with you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. If you, have any, if you like these videos, you can click the alert button so you can uh, receive uh, a notification on our next upload. So thanks again. We have a great one.